and all eight of them have really been uh, very interesting. Then stop by the merchandise tent. Generally, they will have a copy of that race available for you about a half hour to an hour after the race has been run. So check by the merchandise tent and pick up a copy, a souvenir copy here of the 40th annual San Diego Crew Classic. And uh, all you have to do is name a particular race that you're interested in and they'll get it out for you as soon as possible. And it's a wonderful souvenir as you can see on our Jumbotron with the outstanding camera coverage. Uh, you really have a great picture of what happened here in San Diego. At the starting line now, event number Sacramento nine, State. Women's Collegiate Martial University of Miami. Lane one, Sacramento Lane State. Mary. Lane two, University of Miami. Lane three, St. Mary's College of California. Four, Old Dominion University. Five, San Diego State University. Six, University of British Columbia. Lane seven, Villanova. And we're off. It's the start to event number nine, Women's Collegiate Varsity, Heat B. Once again, very fair conditions, very fast track. Uh, the winds actually lightened up a little bit. And right now, your early race leader in lane three appears to be St. Mary's College. All right, at 250 meters now, very close race between all four of the first crews in lanes one through four. Virtually anybody's race right now, it looks like Miami in lane two, your race leader by two seats over Sacramento State, who's in lane one. Third position going to St. Mary's, then four, Old Dominion. Fifth spot goes to UBC in lane six. The sixth position, San Diego State, and trailing in lane seven is Villanova University. So the women now have shifted into their race pace, establishing the rhythm trying to maximize each stroke, sending that bow forward to the max each time they bring their knees up, conserving energy as much as possible. And the crew's now at 500 meters. Your race leader is definitely University of Miami in lane two. The second position, still Sacramento State in lane one. Third, St. Mary's. Fourth appears to be UBC. And then the rest. That's at 500 meters. Event number nine, women's collegiate varsity, heat B. Two will move forward in this one, two to the petite final, and the remaining crews will be, uh, actually three will be moving forward on this, so we're gonna watch the first three. But as we mentioned in previous races, uh, all of the positions count in trying to pile up enough points to dazzle the NCAA to move on. Our lane assignments, Cal State University, Sacramento, is in lane number one and currently in second position. Our leader is in lane number two, Miami. In lane three, St. Mary's, also in third position. And then we round out the field with lane number four, Old Dominion, San Diego State University in lane five. It is British Columbia in lane six and Villanova out there in lane number seven. Yes, this is going to be quite an interesting race because, again, we don't have a lot of early form on most of these crews. We do know that University of British Columbia finished third at the Canadian Collegiate Nationals last fall, so that gives us a picture of what their crew looks like this year. The other crews are pretty much new crews coming onto the water, don't have a lot of form early in the season, but uh, we do know that uh, California State University Sacramento beat St. Mary's, they dominated their Sacramento invite earlier in March, and St. Mary's was there racing against the Stanford Lights and Sacramento State Old Dominion. This is their first big race of the season. So uh, coming, traveling quite a distance and hopefully adjusting to the time changes right here in San Diego. On the water, race number nine, Miami continues to hang into the lead there.
Yes, and University of uh, British Columbia is showing their form, and they have brought the race. They've taken that outside lane and uh, maybe snuck up on the crews on the inside, giving Miami uh, a little bit of a run for their money as Miami pulls out. Uh, I think they have a slight edge on uh, Sacramento in lane one, and uh, British Columbia across the way might be able to sneak past uh, if the coxswain of Miami is looking across over to lane one at Sacramento State, their closest threat. Sometimes the coxswain gets so intent upon the person that's right on them, the crew right on them, that they fail to look all the way to the outside. And every now and then, one of these little sneakers, and right now British Columbia is trying to be that sneaker. They're on the outside, and they uh, picked up a lot of ground or water in the last 200 meters and have uh, inserted themselves back into this race. But Miami continues to hang on. Sacramento State challenging for the lead early has fallen back a little bit as uh, St. Mary's and Old Dominion along with San Diego State have begun to move up on the far outside. It is Villanova trailing in this seven lane race. Yes, it looks like Old Dominion may be finding their stride here. Again, not a lot of early racing, but they look like they've settled in. And they're certainly coming back on uh, St. St. Mary's over there in lane three. So the race coming back to the leaders but uh, it really looks to me like Miami's got the measure of everyone uh, sitting back there, including uh, UBC. And they haven't had to ratchet it up at all. They've had this in control almost from the 500 meter mark. As uh, Jim Jorgensen mentioned, they got off to an early lead and actually had some open water uh, very early in this go. Uh, they are currently in the lead in seconds, uh, check that, in first spot with St. Mary's and Sacramento. Uh, trying to battle it out for that third qualifying position. On the far outside, the University of British Columbia apparently has second spot in hand at the moment, uh, but the challenge is going to be with Sacramento State, and they have begun to lose some ground. St. Mary's moving up on them for the third position. As we look forward to our first leader is Miami. They have open water back to UBC, but the big and interesting race will be for that third and final qualifying position. And right now, St. Mary's has the measure of Sacramento State. On the lead, it is Miami. Second spot, open water back is University of British Columbia. St. Mary's and Sacramento State going at one another here. It is Sacramento State on the near side, shore side, and St. Mary's on the outside, as all the way outside, UBC catches a lot of water and slows them down. The fight will be for that third position as Miami crosses the finish line, followed by UBC, but let's watch for that third and final qualifier. It is St. Mary's outside on the shoreline. It is Sacramento State. St. Mary's and Sacramento State coming down to the line. It looks like it may be St. Mary's on the outside with Sacramento State coming in in that fourth position, but we'll have to wait for a final replay on that, and let's take a look, another look at it here. As the crews approach the finish line, this is the battle. That is UBC on the outside, obviously, in that second spot. But the bow marker to bow marker with the one closest to the shore uh, being Sacramento State. And uh, the angle here is just very slightly difficult to read. And it looks like quite possibly St. Mary's snuck in there and held on and uh, picked up that third spot. We will need to wait for that official uh, reading on that. And once again, official results on the board here on the Crew Classic grounds, also at twitter.crewclassic.org and also at www.crewclassic.org forward slash results. You know, that was really quite a race there um, for those spots. But what's going to be really interesting, I think, is the petite final tomorrow morning at 9.10. Because, you know, as I mentioned, Old Dominion, who's come out here from, uh, sorry, yes. I've lost my place here. Old Dominion, who's come out from Norfolk, Virginia, has uh, really found their stride in that race and uh, moved Fair the man. race closer to the front. was actually challenging Sacramento State at the end. And they will face each other tomorrow in the petite finals. And Villanova traveling out from uh, Pennsylvania, probably getting a little of the worst of the water out there. And uh, University of British Columbia, of course, standing up to their uh, national ranking and uh, representing the Canadians here in this event.